Aber das interessiert mich jetzt nicht so sehr. Jetzt spule ich mal alles zurück. Jetzt okay, Sarah. folgen wir mal Sarah. So. Cryogenics Leave a Patient's Guide. Naja, gut. Mal wieder eine Datei, die nicht aufgeht. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo. Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much. Things start shutting down. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. <lacht> das war das, wo die zwei sich übereinander hergefallen sind. Oh, ich brauche keine relaxing sounds. Ah, Supply Locker. Dann lege ich mal noch was hin. Mal gucken, was da noch ist. Notebook. Honestly, most of the pain has faded, but I can't say I don't still feel guilty. It's just duller than it used to be, but it's still there all the time. Odin says this counts as grief, even though I never knew the patient when he was alive. I don't know how doctors deal with this. A lot of them have to, don't they? Most of them? Nail polish brauchen wir nicht. What's that? Lippen balsam. So, workstation. Graduation. Clean mind the phrase.
Ja, schön. Und der hat irgendwelche... Also sie... Sie soll die Verantwortung übernehmen für irgendeinen Incident. Und die waschen sich die Hände rein. Das ist ja ganz toll. Naja. So, Graduation. Das ist der Code 2080. Biascan procedure. So, den Schlüssel wollte ich noch mitnehmen. Standard in bla bla bla. Wichtig ist Cryogenic Stasis Risk Factors None. No physical symptoms and might lead to injury or death following cryogenic stasis or revival. So. Die wird jetzt interessant. Natalie Kuroshenko. Heart murmur, probable mitral stenosis. Clear signs of cardiovascular abnormal abnormal abnormality. Heart murmur. This condition represents severe risk of death during the cryogenic revival process. Achtzehn uh, percent. Chance, dass es überlebt. So, und Andrew? Alles wunderbar. Okay. What's that? Ein Skelettmodell. Okay. So. Das ist der Schlüssel. Den wollte ich noch mitnehmen. Den nehme ich jetzt gleich mal mit darüber. Und mach da gleich mal auf. Ich weiß, für was ich das brauchen kann. Aber wenn es offen ist. Venturi settles with family of spaceport victim. Ah, darum ging's, dass sie da die Verantwortung übernimmt.
Ah, ja. Wir nehmen die Verantwortung und wir können uns die wir sind un unschuldig und können dann sagen, die AI hat alles richtig gemacht. Sollen wir hier da der Andrew kommen? Odin, ist Sarah ready for So. Dear Morgan, Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but blah blah blah, excellent state. Reading this, we weren't able to survive it, and I'm sorry, Nicholas. I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up to be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Also, and then. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air support supply system, no onboard controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. Und weiter geht's. I will tell her that you are here. Und ab da haben wir es ja dann gesehen. Okay. Adventurers, we look boldly into the future, not backward into the past. While we are proud of our heritage luxury facilities, like the Zenith Lunar Resort, the popular perception of orbital travel as playground of the super wealthy is outmoded, outdated. It's holding us back. The future of Venturus is inclusivity, and that inclusivity is defined by the Venturus Belt Project, a network of 1,000 fully automated private vacation homes encircling Earth, available to the public at prices a mere fraction of any orbital travel on offer today. The Venturus Belt will be a revelation of industry and rocket our enterprise to amazing new heights. This has been a message from your chief executive okay. officer, Sergio Venturi. So. Und damit sind wir am Ende dieses Videos angelangt. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, ich habe noch jede Menge mehr Videos in meinem Kanal. Schaut rein, abonniert, unterstützt mich finanziell auf Patreon, würde mich freuen. Tschüss und vielen Dank.